Welcome to our next track. Today we have a presentation about how to fail in IA business. As a guest, I have CEO from Ezra Tech, Mohamed Noani, and I'm looking forward to the next talk about product development, the challenges, and I'm looking forward to the questions at the end of the talk. For now, enjoy the talk, and Mohamed, best of luck. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. And I hope this presentation can be useful for you. Uh, just sharing my screen. Okay, uh, I hope it's clear for everybody. Yeah, my presentation is uh, how to fail in AI business or maybe how not to fail in AI business and just a little bit about myself. I am founder and CEO of UAB Strategic, a startup which is uh, established in Lithuania, Vilnius, and a little bit about my background in uh, Academy. I have PhD in systems in control engineering and also MBA strategy and uh, my main business and my main uh, it is uh, I'm solution architect in IoT and AI uh, solutions and I'm also a product manager and project manager in different ICT holdings. Also I'm a university lecturer and also a consult to some startups and corporations in the last five years and I'm also a speaker and writer. Okay, first things first. At, uh, first, I wanted to talk about some definitions to both be in the same page, and then we can go through uh, our uh, next section, which is the passes to fail. Yeah, at the first, I wanted to talk about artificial intelligence systems. The definition is, uh, there are a lot of definitions about AI systems and uh, from different disciplines and different people but uh, i wanted to talk about the working uh, easy and simple working definition that is any system that can behave like or better than human by using data and algorithms without human supervision for sure like or better is a, a important and key part of the definition because we want in artificial intelligence have systems that uh, behave like humans or in other approach we wanted to make perfect systems that are better than humans so it's very important for us and also data algorithms are essential parts of the definition and uh, also when we are talking without human supervision means that we want it to be autonomous there are a lot of artificial intelligence domains i just picking some of them like time series which are being used for analyzing and prediction in different maybe markets and different time series that are working. Also in NLP means natural language processing. Here you can see chatbots, recommend the systems and search uh, as other domains, but really they are subsidiaries of NLP and also NLP have a lot of more other options in it. Also there are mission vision or OCR as part of it, it, vision machines wanted to see like human or better. And uh, there are a lot of applications in vision like object detection, behavior analysis, and uh, in maybe in robotics. Another option is robotics and uh, application of it as self-driving cars. There are other domains of artificial intelligence that are being commercialized right now. Also, there are robotic process automation and also DeepFake as a good application of uh, using combination of different AI techniques and tools to create a new thing that is completely virtual and not real. These are part of Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but we can't see your screen. I think you're in the call and sharing mode. Want to give it a second try? Sorry, it's, uh, you, are, you cannot see that? Uh, we see the full PowerPoint by now. Uh, let me let me try again. Thank you. Let me try again. Uh, uh, oh, you can see just the first. Oh, it's the first one. Sorry, I'm. I will try again. So I think it's better to share my file. Perfect. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I was talking here, <laughs> and now I will come next definition. Okay, the next definition is about the business itself. Uh, can you see this? Perfectly now. Perfect. Go for it. That's okay. Yeah, that's all okay. Okay. Thank you. About the definition of business, when I talk about business, for sure there are a lot of definitions for it, but I'm talking about a set of activities that result in values for customers and revenue for the owner. A set of activities or a chain of processes uh, don't matter. It's important that uh, you both can create value for a customer and you can create revenue for uh, the owner. If you cannot do uh, both of them, you are maybe creating a charity or you are cheating. So if you have a business, you need to have these both together. And when we are talking about AI businesses, we are talking about, you know, uh, nowadays, a lot of businesses, mainly all of the businesses have computer, but we don't say that uh, all businesses are digital businesses. Similarly, maybe there are a lot of businesses that are using or will use AI, but we don't say them AI business. When we are talking about AI business, we are talking about the businesses that they are uh, providing and proposing AI tool as their main product or a tool or technology that is dominantly used by AI or using AI. It's very important to know that we are when we are talking in this uh, context about AI business, we are talking about businesses and companies that their main purpose value is AI tool or the technology or tool that is dominantly used in AI. It's very important. And some of the examples are First is Google, mainly the search engine. You know, Google has a lot of businesses, but uh, specifically on the search engine and the ecosystem around it, uh, there are a lot of tools which are AI-based and, uh, you know, search itself, maybe some people say that search is just a, a query, SQL query. But when, when we are talking about search engine, we are talking about how we can understand at first the query in which user entered to be searched, then searching through a web of knowledge, then uh, listing a lot of them, then ranking them. And based on that, we can understand, yeah, there is a lot of AI-based processes that are shaping this business. So Google is one of the examples of successful AI businesses. Another one is recommender system, like a Spotify recommender system. There are a lot of recommender systems, but Spotify among them is one of the best cases and uh, in recommender systems like search engines, beat out any input from the users, you are recommending the user some options, maybe services or products. And it's very imp important that uh, you need a lot of data and uh, different working algorithms to can be able to recommend the right objects, maybe products or services to the user. Another one is Tesla self-driving car. Really, Tesla is making robots. Uh, and these robots have uh, moving capability and vision, and they can decide what to do. And, and different parts of it has different AI tools. So I think another successful AI business is Tesla. Also in banks, um, Specifically, the fraud detection systems are AI tools, and you know there are a lot of companies that are providing fraud detection systems for banks and financial institutions. So it's very important, and most of them are successful, <laughs> all of them which are being used. And also another one is Boston Dynamics, just to show you that it's not just commercial or B2B market. Sometimes governmental or military applications can use AI a lot. And just to see that there are a wide variety of AI businesses now available in the market. And uh, when we are talking about the mistakes, we are talking about mistakes that each of these businesses may face. And so uh, I do my best to generalize the mistakes to cover most of these uh, ecosystem of AI businesses. And the next thing, and maybe the last but not the least, is business failure. 
it's very important to know what we are meaning about failure in business. Just to say, business failure is a situation in which the total cost is greater than the total benefit generated for the business owner. When I'm talking about the total cost, I'm uh, considering both financial cost, HR, time, and all the resources uh, which are being used are a form of cost. And when you calculate this total cost, you need to compare it with the total benefits, maybe your revenue, uh, the brand awareness, the technologies, and all, mm, all properties that you gain by the activating and use and working on your business. So when you can comp uh, compare the cost and benefits, if the costs are higher, so your business fail, and it's what we are talking about fail. Okay, the next, I wanted to talk about different passes to fail. Uh, but bef before that, just to um, get the feedback from uh, the audiences, I want to publish one poll. Uh, yeah. And the question is, which one is more essential in the AI business, uh, data, algorithm, or infrastructure, or none of them? Uh, yeah, I think none of them is not in these uh, options. But if you can answer this, I think about. 20 or 30 seconds. Take. Oh, there are two votes right now. The reason behind why I ask this question is that there is a problem when some people are thinking about allocating the resources to algorithm and data. Sometimes um, some of the founder of startups or managers of a corporation think that uh, when we are talking about AI, we are talking about uh, state-of-the-art algorithms and how we can develop novel ones and how we can uh, make it more efficient all are correct but i think the most essential thing in ai is data as shown in the poll 82 uh, percent of people are yeah most of the people are um, saying that data is the most most essential and uh, in comparison with ai businesses when we are talking about big data and data processing the most essential are algorithms the name is data processing, but the most thing that is important is algorithm. Just uh, to uh, make sure that we are on the same page. Now I wanted to continue, uh, and it can be open. There's no problem. I will continue with the next section: passes to fail. And the first class of mistakes that most uh, companies are uh, taking when they are going through their business is failing to meet user needs. In fact, when you don't uh, understand the user needs and requirements, or you understand it, but don't take care about it and don't meet the requirements, user will not pay for it and clearly you will fail. Another one is not being efficient. Sometimes you, you meet the user needs weekly, but it's not efficient. If you don't have efficient solutions, you will fail for sure, because efficiency now is one of the most important KPIs and indexes for measuring the success of a company and a business. So being efficient is very important. Sometimes the products are not really efficient. Another one is bad timing for the launch. When we are talking about the Bad timing means sometimes you cannot provide a good set of features in your product for your launch. Sometimes you are providing some features that it's not uh, that the user is not ready to use these features. Maybe because the features have some uh, prerequisites that are not uh, ready right now, or they need some 
knowledge about how to use this feature. So bad timing is another uh, mistake that uh, some of startups fail because they don't know it may happen. Another is hard to put into service or the usability problem. When it's not easy to use and user cannot understand how to use the product, you will fail with no doubt. Another one is failure in maintaining service quality. For a lot of products, different problems occur that makes when you, the product market is growing, the quality will re be reduced. And when this happens, uh, the new users cannot tolerate this reduced quality. And also your uh, current users uh, will experience lack of quality and it will uh, make you fail and it's another uh, mistake that's in product class and uh, it's very important because uh, some of us have very good products in smaller scales but it's not when we are scaling our product there have a lot of problems in it. Another class is data. When data is not diverse enough, it's not complete, and it's not covering different parts and different uh, forms of the consequences. So there are uh, a very uh, frequent mistake that a lot of businesses do because they don't know what are the complete data set really are and how they can find its uh, complete or not. There is another form of uh, mistake that uh, leads to failure. Another one is data was not clean and proper, or maybe data not stored correctly. Sometimes you uh, cannot store it and you, uh, and they will be deleted, for example, and are not uh, stored correctly and so maybe some of the uh, parts of data are not stored correctly so uh, you cannot uh, retouch the data and reuse it in your modeling in your updates so uh, it's another form of not working properly with data and also if you don't protect it if you cannot make it secure it's another form of problem that um, some people or some developers don't think the security is very complicated. You know, it's a, a very common problem a lot of the startups uh, faced with, and they cannot grow because the first uh, problem in security is almost the last one. Another one is that is not understood well. When you don't know the causal loops and uh, the causalities in the data, and you know, when you just uh, make the data, you can just sum it as numbers. It will be not, uh, you know, when you don't understand it, you cannot use best of it and it will lead to failure, another form for data. Another one is infrastructure. Infrastructure class is uh, more prestigious, but uh, also very um, fatal. One is weak architecture. If your structure and organization of the product and the system is not, and mainly the infrastructure is not well designed, you will fail. Or if it will not be scalable or reliable, or two other forms of uh, weakness in the infrastructure you know sometimes your solution is good for example for one million requests maybe per second or per day or based on your business but for 10 million requests no it's not a going right way or maybe for 100 million it doesn't work at all it's not a good infrastructure architecture and design also, uh, sometimes you are not using infrastructure efficiently. You may uh, are work and everything is working, but because you are not using it efficiently, you are paying more. And when you are calculating uh, the total cost of your product, you see, oh, uh, it's not economic. And the other 
competitors may are more efficient and they have uh, lower costs so they may succeed and sometimes it uh, affects the competition another one is disaster management my son you know a lot of people think that disasters were for <laughs> 10 years later but you have to know that disaster may happen every time and any time and there is no timing for that and if you don't be ready for disaster uh, the first one will be the last one and it's very important to know that disasters are uh, a part of and natural part of a business and uh, mainly in businesses that are using infrastructures Uh, these three, the three class of product, data and infrastructure was uh, three main technical class of mistakes that may um, lead us to fail. So I want to uh, publish another poll and ask another question about this. The question is, which class of mistakes you confronted before? Product, data, infrastructure, or none of the above? Okay. You know, uh, there is no right answer to this question. <laughs> it's uh, based on your experience. And maybe you didn't uh, confront any of these problems before, but maybe if you are working in this industry, it's, um, it's not uh, too far to uh, face some of them, maybe some mistakes that being resolved or not. Very nice. And it's still open and you can participate in this poll. Okay, now the next. The next one is management. Management for sure is one of the um, most frequent classes of mistakes that uh, occur in bis different businesses. And one of the problem is that uh, Sometimes the managers are not really managers. They are technical persons that, because they are founder or co-founder, they need to manage the business. But there are some problems. Uh, I'm here supposing that there are some managers that entered and they uh, lead to fail. What are the mistakes? One is they are not familiar with AI in nature. In fact, some of the managers don't know the dynamic of the market. They don't know the process of developing and how to understand the big picture of the AI nature. It's one of the mistakes that makes managers kill the business because they are not familiar really with the uh, dynamics and the shape of the processes that are working together to make an AI business work. Another one is resource allocation, wrong resource allocation. In fact, sometimes you think, for example, data is not important so much, or you think that algorithms are more, maybe infrastructure is the highest. Sometimes you don't know how to allocate the resources, also marketing. Uh, if you don't know, and if the manager don't know what to do and how to allocate, it can easily uh, make a business fail. Another one is weak decision making for sure in a lot of businesses and uh, generally in all the businesses when you have weak decision making you will fail and uh, it's not unexpected it's uh, clearly uh, nature of the business when you cannot decide on the right time and the right option you will fail another one is that's very important is lack of confidentiality sometimes the managers don't know that some of the information are very important for example sometimes if 
the competitors know which algorithm you are using. They can find the method of attacks. They can estimate the precision and also how much resource you are using. Or maybe the sources for data you are using, or maybe uh, the precision of your current model. Sometimes managers leak this information and it's a very important information that can help competitors compete and uh, make better products or uh, maybe affect your product. And it's very important to know that confidentiality, specifically in AI businesses are very important. Another one is financial. For all the businesses running out of cash is <laughs> uh, making a failure because sometimes it's very hard to find investors and funding the business, maybe underestimating the cost are another form of problem. Uh, maybe sometimes we don't, uh, we are not able to estimate correctly the cost, mostly on infrastructure, prices for data, and sometimes for the human resources that we need. Uh, these underestimating are uh, so very problematic and will lead to failure. Another one is cutting key budgets. Sometimes you wanted to manage your budgets, but uh, you don't know which budgets to cut and which not to. And it will happen and will, uh, results in uh, deleting, in fact, you, some of your key processes that need to be done and it may result in failure and it no doubt. Another one is in teams. When you are teaming up, sometimes um, your teams are inconsistent. In fact, they cannot work with each other and uh, they cannot understand each other. It's one of the problems that uh, most of the startups are uh, so that they have problems with them. The teams cannot work because, you know, when you are teaming up, you know, the AI problem is multidisciplinary, is very complex, but the people you are uh, getting together are not uh, able to work with each other and cannot understand each other. Inconsistent teams are one of the reasons of the failure of a lot of teams. On also some bias teams. You know, when we are talking about bias teams, we are, uh, talking about the teams that a lot of people have one single point of view. And because of that, they cannot uh, give different solutions for a problem. And when there is no different options for a solution, it's very hard to uh, choose the optimal one. And when you cannot find the optimal solution, uh, maybe you can find a very costly solution and it may uh, leading failure. Another one is a strict hierarchy. Sometimes mm, you don't uh, organize the structure of human resource well, so it's very hard for, for example, a, a developer to inform the team about the problems of the architecture that he or she uh, identified. And Sometimes these hierarchies can make it, uh, can uh, result in very uh, bad failures, you know, because everything is okay. But because there is no good relationship between different team players, and in fact, the team is not really team player, so it's uh, very, uh, sometimes a very a small problem can. Uh, made the product fail, and it's because of the strictness in the hierarchy of the system. Also, some dishonest relationship. Because sometimes the people are not being honest to each other, and it's you know these are mostly HR or human resource dimensions that you need to know and you need to think about. Another is the market, for sure. Poor marketing is a very um, easy form of 
failing because you need to market your product and you need to introduce your product to the user. If you cannot establish this channel and different channels that need to be, uh, you will fail because you cannot uh, create revenue streams. Or sometimes you are targeting wrong about the market because you don't have enough information about which group of customers are the main and are the correct and the right person. So you are targeting wrong ones and then you cannot create the revenue as you estimate. Also prohibit, pricing is very bad because uh, sometimes your pricing is not tangible for customers. They cannot convince them why I need to pay so much for this solution. It's very important and it's a frequent problem for a lot of AI solutions. And sometimes the market is not ready. Sometimes uh, you think that your product is uh, very well and that's all okay and it's a best match for the problem and the needs of the customer, but market cannot accept it. Sometimes you need at first educate your market and then launch your product. Another one is on desired service delivery. Sometimes, for example, you are uh, providing a service to a um, B2B market and you don't give API to them. You cannot provide them. Then um, you will fail because you, the form of service that wanted to be delivered is API, but you are, for example, giving in SaaS or other forms, or maybe you are uh, uh, using different forms of delivery that are not uh, desired for the customer. So you need to know how market will uh, confront with your um, form of delivery. Another one is competitors. One of the problem is that uh, mostly we don't consider competitors right way. Sometimes we don't consider them at all, and sometimes we underestimate them. And it's one of the ways that businesses fail. Another one is don't having a strategy for competition. Sometimes you know you have some competitors, but you, you don't have any plan or any scenario for how you can and how you need to be ready for. Uh, competing, or maybe uh, you don't have tangible difference when you are, when you are uh, entering in a commodity commodity market and it, all the services are similar. Uh, no uh, user will change its uh, supplier because when I'm working with a supplier that uh, I'm satisfied. Uh, and I have the experience of working with why I need to change when there is no difference in price, no difference in service, and in fact, no difference. So I don't switch. And also there are some, there, you, sometimes you don't have key advantage. You are, you are different, but you don't have advantage at all. It means how, uh, you know, when a user wanted to switch, from uh, another option to your product, it's very important to know that, yeah, there is an advantage that if I choose this product, it will help me, uh, for example, to improve this specific index. But if there is no key advantage, so there is no reason to switch to your product. And there are a lot of mistakes in the class of government and legal issues. One of them is diversity of law among countries. Different countries have different laws. Maybe, for example, in EU countries, there are similar and sometimes there are unique laws for all the countries in the EU zone, but it's not, for example, in Canada or United States or maybe China or Middle East or Africa. There are a lot of markets. If you want to go through different markets, you have to make sure that you know the law of the country which you are entering. 
it's very important. And there are a lot of mistakes was because they didn't know that, yeah, the uh, action that you are doing in the, in the, in the current market is uh, forbidden in the uh, new market that you wanted to enter. And these problems sometimes uh, may, uh, result in very heavy fines and the businesses fail because of they don't know this form of differences. Also patenting. Uh, if you if you if you cannot uh, make sure that you are protecting your patents, other competitors or some other uh, form of competitors will come and register the patent, and uh, you need to exit that market or uh, pay a lot to just uh, handle this problem in the patent. And also sometimes you don't have permissions for maybe you don't know that you need to get some permissions. There is another problem. Another one in Europe is GDPR. GDPR is a, a set of rules about the data policy, but a lot of people don't know what GDPR really means and how we need to um, comply with. And it's one of the problems that people need to know that when you are entering the EU market, uh, you need to comply with GDPR and also some licenses. A lot of people are using tools that they don't know that, oh, I'm using a form of license that is not for commercial use. And then because they are using that, it uh, causes uh, a lot of problems for them. Now, uh, at short, I wanted to talk about some uh, ways how to prevent. The first part is uh, the first one is requirement engineering, mainly for the uh, class of product. If uh, requirement engineering is a process that in it uh, you will at first gather the requirements of the different stakeholders, and also based on that design the product you want and the total solution, and then you will maintain it and. Uh, there is a pro process in system engineering that is binded with requirement engineering and it helps you better understand and make sure that your product is meeting the requirements of the users and different stakeholders. Another guidance is launch beta versions and do tests mainly in user interface and user experience with customers before launching the alpha version of your product. Another is Analyze the data set readiness and make sure that they are complete, they are clean, uh, they are well organized and make sure that they cover all the segments of your. Another one is follow best practices for system security. Specifically in system security, you need to make sure that you are following best practices because you cannot try and uh, tr do trial and error in security. The first trial may uh, end all the business for uh, and because you just not want to read the best practices. Also, well architecting the solution is very important. It means you need to know architecture or use advisors that know architecture. Another one is be disaster ready. Make uh, make sure that you have a lot of scenarios. Uh, available and plans for facing each scenario is available and when you be disaster ready you are uh, far more better than your competitors because this when disaster come and um, you you don't have any time to think about what's happening you need to react very fast so you need to be ready for that also if you are a manager be up to date about the AI, about the competitors, about the trends, about the rules, and about what's happening in the, uh, the context in which you are working in. Another one is consult with financial experts that are in the industry. Make sure that the financial experts that you are consulting and they are giving advice to you are in the industry, and they know the AI industry and the digital industry, in fact. Another one is Team up like others, but behave far more better. Don't uh, start teaming up 
with very um, big ex expectation for your human resource. Do it normal, start it normal, but behave better when you are uh, through your uh, journey in the business. And also make sure you know both marketing and the market, both know the processes of marketing and also you know the market itself and uh, also be competition ready in fact different scenarios different uh, 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 knowledge about the competitors also be context aware and also have uh, experienced legal advisors to help you uh, clear the uh, status of the uh, legal activities and the legal issues that may occur and you can add any other guidances here Thank you very much, and uh, I'm ready to answer your questions, if any, and thank you very much. Uh, and my email address is here, and if you have any questions, you can ask if uh, you be going to be connected after the presentation. Thanks, Mohamed. Uh, interesting to listen to. Uh, a lot of experience uh, behind this talk, I guess. Um, let's open the Q&A section. Uh, well, we do not have any questions yet, um, but for me, I have some coming up. Um, working with the AI, uh, what has been most interesting to you when it comes to um, consulting these companies? So when you come in there, you already mentioned a lot of mistakes that come up and you know all the tricks. When you, when you, go for, when you had to go about a consulting approach or help a company develop their AI products, where would you start? You know, uh... When we wanted to uh, consult different companies in AI business, at first we start with the product itself because most of the pro uh, products are problematic. Mm -hmm. Most of them have a lot of uh, disadvantage in them. And at first we start making sure that the products are perfect for the market. And it's very important because a lot of products, in based on my experience, none of the products are perfect because most of the uh, teams uh, are working uh, very uh, bounded and just in their thing and you know they were not open minded about what the, they don't have a relation with customers as they, as they need and when i come into a company I, I first start as a customer and ask questions and make sure that they know my requirements and my needs and based on that we start and after that we check about data and infrastructure most of the problems are technical the non-technical problems because they are general they are a lot of people that can help but specifically in ai the technical problems uh, are, are not uh, there are not very options for people to uh, help hmm. okay yeah all about products are very very uh, problem oriented all right. Um, for anybody interested in um, getting these notes down or everything, um, feel free to hit them up on the social media. You have the email here. If you need some tips on how to scale your business and how to work with your AI. For everything else, Mohammed, amazing talk. Thank you for listening in. And for everyone else, see you for the next track. Thank, Thank you. you very much.